Hey guys, my name is Trey Cooper, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to uh, take a step back from Java and take a look at some Python code. Um, today we will be going over a nifty little module called ZMQ, which is, stands for Zero MQ, which is a messaging queue uh, module. And we're going to be looking specifically at the publisher subscriber model that they have. And if you're not familiar with publisher subscriber, what it is is the you can have a publisher program that publishes messages to the subscriber programs who consume the messages and do whatever you need to do. So uh, we will set this up today uh, with one publisher and two subscribers because you can have multiple subscribers to one publisher. So um, let's go ahead and get into writing our publisher code. So here I have a pub.py program that I'm writing. So we're going to start off by importing the 0MQ module. If you do not have the 0MQ module installed, you can go ahead and go to Google and figure out how to install the 0MQ module. So I'm going to import the ZMQ module. And from here, we're going to also need to import um, the time sleep module because we're going to actually be using that to um, basically have our basically to regulate the speed at which our publisher sends out messages. So we're going to import, no, no, we're going to go from, I can spell today, from time, import, sleep. All right, so now we have that imported, we can go ahead and actually writing our code. So um, ZMQ uses a context to, you know, uh, have all the information it needs to know who's the publishers and subscribers. So the way we'll set this up is by just setting up our a context variable that um, uses zmq dot context. All right. Once we do this, we need to go ahead and bind our uh, publisher to a socket so that we can um, have the uh, subscribers listen on that socket, and that's where they'll get the messages from. So in order to set up our socket, we need to go socket, then we get the context and set up a socket. I'm going to say zmq.pub inside of here for a publisher. And then also we need to bind this socket. Oh, we need to bind this socket. Socket.bind. And we're going to bind it to a IP address in this case, which will be localhost, and we'll put it on port 2000. All right, so now that our um, publisher is bind bound to this socket, we can go ahead and um, set up our logic for actually how we're going to send the messages. So we're going to start off by creating a list of messages, which will in this case just be some numbers. We're going to do 100, 200, and 300. All right, so these are going to be the messages that are being sent out. And then we'll also need a variable to hold um, which uh, message we want to send out. So uh, in our case, we're just going to loop through these messages. We're going to send out message 100, 200, 300, and then back to 100, 200, 300. And we're just going to keep looping through those. So we'll start off with um, having this. We'll say curve msg so this is going to be the current message that we're on that we want to send out we're going to start off with zero because this current message is going to be the index of you know which message we want to send so zero one two all right and then we'll have a while loop because we're just going to continuously send these until we stop our program so um while true we're going to sleep for one second that way we don't just keep spitting them out really, really fast. We can actually see them going, the messages coming out. All right. And then we're going to use our socket to send a pi object. And this pi object is going to have our current message as the key. And then we're going to um, have the messages. And then we're going to pass in the curve message. So this is going to send whatever message number we're on. So we'll say we're on zero now. So this will be zero. 
and this will be the actual message so that's how we'll set it up and then we want to make sure that when we're looping through here we don't want to go out of bounds so we need to reset so when we get to two to index two we need to go back to index um zero so the way we'll do this is adding an if statement and we're going to say if cur message equals equals two because that is the last index then we're going to want to set cur message to zero and then else we're going to set cur message equal to cur message plus one all right this is our publisher um, program right here this will publish the messages 100 200 300 100 200 300 as many times as you know until our until we stop our program so let's go ahead and create a subscriber so the subscriber will come through and actually receive those messages and then at that point you can do whatever you wish with them so today we're just going to be printing them out to the screen because we're not actually creating anything we're just showing you how the Z, um, ZMQ publisher subscribe model works. So let's go ahead and also import the ZMQ library. Here we won't need to import the sleep because we're not going to be using it. So um, we also need to set up the context, which is going to be ZMQ context. All right, once we have that done, we need to go ahead and connect to the port. So we're also going to need a socket. It's going to be context that socket and then we're going to do zmq dot sub all right once we get that we need to connect the socket to the um port that we had from the publisher so it was one two seven dot oh dot oh dot one and then port two thousand so once we have that, we need to set up a socket option. So we're going to do set sock op. And then here we're going to have zmq.subscribe. All right. Once we do this, our socket is set up. So now we have our socket listening on that port um, that we set for our publisher. So now we can go ahead and create our logic for actually reading those messages. All right, so we're going to have a while true loop here as well because we're going to want to do this as long as this program is running. All right, then we're going to go message equals sock dot receive pi object. And this is going to be our message, so we'll just print it out. Print message. Too many S's. Print message. All right. So this is our subscriber program. And now we're just going to make sure that it works, and we're going to print out the messages. So if I pull up my terminal here, the trusty terminal, and I run my dot pub dot pi, all right, it is now running. And now here I'm going to run my sub one dot pi. And there we go. As you can see, it is actually um, reading out the messages. So as you can see, we're going, um, we're looping through zero one two zero one two zero one two. All right, so this alone is not very useful because we're just printing out random messages. We actually want to get the as you can see here we want to get this value out we don't really want it we don't really care about the rest of the message the only thing we want is to um get the actual message out so we only want this 100 200 300 the rest of that stuff doesn't matter we don't need to print out the entire object so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a way where we can um filter out the messages so say we only want to get this message of 100 so whenever this 100 message is sent that's the one we want so the way we can do this 
is by setting up a, I'm going to call it a listener. And we're going to be listening for, actually it'll be zero. We're going to be listening for the zero index. So once we do this, we can go down here and then we're going to do an if statement to check to see if the index is zero. So the way we'll do this is we'll say if message dot get listener because listener is zero. So we're checking to see if this um, we're checking to see if this um, zero index exists in that object. So if it um, if it is if it exists, it would be it wouldn't be none. So if it doesn't exist, it'll be none. And then so we're checking to make sure that it's not none. So if it actually exists, then we want to actually print the message out. But we don't want to print the entire message. We just want to print the actual um, content of that message, which is the one hundred. So we're going to do message dot get listener. So this will just print out 100 instead of having the entire uh, zero 100, you know, with the curly braces and all of that. So once we do this, we can go ahead and go back to our terminal, uh, run our dot pub dot pi. So this is pub dot pi, and now we're going to run our sub one dot pi. Syntax mistake. All right, so now we're going to run our sub one dot pi. So sub one. And as you can see, now it's not even printing out um, all of the messages, it's only getting the ones that are the zero index. And also it's not printing out the entire message with the curly braces and the index with it. So now it's only printing out the message. So that is the way we can do that. But now that we got that done, what we want to do is we want to actually create another subscriber because you can have multiple subscribers that are um, connected to the same publisher. So let's go ahead and create. Matter of fact, we're going to pretty much copy and paste all of this. This is pretty much what we're going to do, but we're going to make some changes to it. Instead of just doing the exact same thing, we're going to... Um, switch it up a bit we're going to take it so that we can have listen to multiple messages coming from the publisher so instead of just as you can see in this oh well actually i can use this one so in this sub one here we have this listener that's only listening to one index say we want to listen to multiple say we want to get this 100 well actually let's do this let's get this 200 and this 300 say we want those two for this one and the first one only gets this 100 so the way we can do that is by setting up a list. So we'll say one and two. So this will get the last two indexes. But we also, since we're doing this, we have to change our logic on the inside of this uh, loop. So now we're going to say message index. So this message index is going to be the index that is sent from the um, publisher. So in order to get this, we need to go message dot keys. And then we're getting the first key because there's only one key technically, um, but we're going to get that first key. So now this is going to be that index that is sent. So now we're checking. Now we need to check if this index Now we need to check if this uh, index is in the listener list that we have up there. So, all right. So now we're checking to see if message index is in this listener's um, list. Then that means that we want to actually print it out to the screen. So if it's in there, then we're going to print the message index. 
All right. So as you can see, this one will actually take a look to see if it's either one of these. And if it is, then we'll print it out. So in this case, since we're only getting one and two, it should print out 200 and 300, but it shouldn't print out 100. So let's go ahead and go back to our trusty um, terminal. And let's run sub2.py. And now we get 200 and 300. But see, 100 doesn't get printed out because we're not looking for 100. So with this, um, hopefully you guys understand how to use the ZMQ message um, with the publisher subscriber uh, model. So as you can see, that works and you can play around with this and send messages of whatever you would like. And thank you for watching the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to see more of my content, hit that notification bell. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.